Uh, hello everyone, a very good afternoon. I hope everyone is uh, safe and healthy. So this is a short video and uh, this is an add-on to the previous video of introduction to self-supervised learning. So mainly uh, this year I attended uh, the ICML conference on representation learning by the team of Google DeepMind. And uh, there they you know, very nicely presented how we can evaluate the self-supervised learning model under three different scenarios, which is linear separation, data efficiency, and transfer learning. And I would like to share uh, you with them. So I think we discussed kind of this in the previous video, but uh, now the, uh, with this uh, workshop, I came to know, you know, we can put all this thing in a very organized way. So what we discussed previously was uh, one way to visually evaluate your self-supervised train model is suppose you have uh, your representation learning network, which has learned representation. You uh, have a query image and then you ask to retrieve uh, similar images as per the query. So if it's a good learned representation, for example, if it's an image net pre-trained model or a relative positioning pre-trained model, then similar image as per the query would be retrieved. But if it's not a good rep good learned representation model, then uh, in case, for example, in case of the random initialization, then you know some weird or non non matching images to the query would be retrieved and another most popular is the linear evaluation where you have this uh, learned representation network and you simply add a like you get your representation simply add a uh, logistic regression and do the you know classification and the idea is that if your classifier is performing your linear classifier is performing well then your learned representations are good and so let's uh, let's quickly go over to these three sections that is described in the workshop. So the first is the linear separation. So that's what we just discussed. Uh, again, this slide I'm using is, is from their workshop. So we have this input, you have this representation network and it has learned the representation. You simply add a linear classifier, for example, the logistic regression, and then you do your classification. So here it's the image uh, classification on the image net data set and you report your accuracy and this is a very popular way to compare, you know, uh, different performances of different approaches in the uh, in the academia, where you 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 have your representation model and you report a top one accuracy on the image in a data set using just a linear classifier. And in this case, you know, SimSela is performing the best. The next way of evaluating your self-supervised learning model is the data efficiency. So you have your representation network, and we just learn the representation. And now instead of you know classifying or performing your downstream task on the entire data set, you perform it on a portion of your data set. So in literature, mainly they use 1% or 10% of the labeled ImageNet data set, and then they try to you know uh, uh, train the model and report the accuracies, the top five or the top one accuracies. And the idea again is if your learned representation is good, then it will perform good even with a small portion of the labeled data as you can see here with just 1% or 10% labeled data set they are able to achieve 85.8 and 92.6% top 5 accuracy respectively and the third approach the most uh, you know intuitive one is the transfer learning where we have learned representation on one data set uh, or one task and you transfer it to other data set or to other task uh, for example it can be you know uh, the representation could be learned on a uh, say image net classification and it could be um, transferred to a Pascal detection. So this is an example where the learned representations are transferred to different uh, data sets or tasks. And this is another uh, scenario where you know you can transfer it to completely different tasks for which it's not even intended to. For example, the learned representation can be evaluated by drawing its performance on the classification task, on the detection task, or uh, even on the segmentation task. So I think pretty much that's all I wanted to discuss. Uh, so if you have your self-supervised learning model, you can evaluate them under these three scenarios of the linear separation or the data efficiency or, you know, the transfer learning. So yeah, that's all from here. Uh, till then, keep learning and keep exploring neurons. Bye.